I mean, just think about it. Why would you have any inkling? Why would you believe at all that there was a kind of light out there that your eyes could not detect? Here's the cool thing about the James Webb Telescope. It has a special reflective surface on its mirrors that are tuned to reflect infrared with very high efficiency. Telescopes can detect infrared and X-ray waves. They can also capture light that our eyes cannot. We can only see very little details because of the properties of light and the nerves in our eyes, but telescopes like the James Webb are able to take highly detailed pictures. The James Webb Space Telescope's launch has aided researchers in their quest to understand the universe's many mysteries. Some of the uncommon cosmic events that influence our knowledge of the cosmos have been seen by astronomers. The $10 billion observatory has now captured one of the oldest galaxies so far. Join us today as we explore the first glimpse of the largest galaxy in the early universe. The main objectives of the James Webb Space Telescope are to study the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang and to learn more about the reionization process, which is the early universe, transformation of neutral hydrogen gas into ionized gas. Scientists will be able to better understand how galaxies formed and how their structures have altered over billions of years by using the telescope to monitor the evolution of galaxies throughout cosmic time. Thanks to its advanced infrared imaging capabilities, Webb has pushed the boundaries of how far astronomers can see. Astronomers have been able to establish one of the earlier galaxies known in the universe. Called the Maisie's Galaxy, it is said to have formed about 390 million years after the Big Bang, making it about 13.4 billion years old. Even though Maisie's galaxy seems in photographs to be just a bright orange blob of light, it demonstrates that appearances in space can be deceiving. The Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, which carried out the observations, found the galaxy in June 2022. Because of how utterly ancient it seems, this small speck symbolizes the beginning of a new era in astronomy. And now that the age of the universe at the time when Maisie's galaxy was visible has been formally established, it has been determined that this realm is in fact among the earliest ever discovered. This places it among the first four galaxies that were ever observed by human eyes. Maisie's galaxy surely stands out a little because the names of other galaxies discovered by the James Webb, like Sears 1019, Sears 2782 and Sears 746 are a touch formal and dry. About 10 more galaxies that may date back even further than Maisie's are being evaluated by the Sears team at the moment. There is no time stamp on anything made in outer space. Astronomers measure an object's redshift to determine when the light it emits left it. In the visible spectrum, Short wavelength, high frequency light is blue, whereas long wavelength, low frequency light is red. This is because different wavelengths of light have distinct color properties. The expansion of the cosmos causes the distant source, such as an early galaxy, to concurrently move away from us while light from that source travels across the cosmos to reach us. The light wavelengths the source is emitting then become stretched out as a result, losing energy and changing frequency. To put it another way, bluish, high-frequency, short-wavelength light first changes into reddish, low-frequency, long-wavelength light with time. The light is effectively being shifted towards the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum, hence the term redshift used by astronomers to describe this alteration. That light can eventually straddle the infrared spectrum. Infrared light is invisible to human vision. The more extreme the red shift, the further cosmic light has traveled. Before reaching the James Webb mirrors, 
Light from early galaxies, like Maisie's galaxy, had traveled for roughly 10 billion years. As a result, light that may have originated in the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum and traveled from Maisie's galaxy to the space-based observatory has been moved down to the infrared range. The James Webb Space Telescope is a great tool for looking for things in the early cosmos. Initial calculations of Maisie's galaxy's redshift and age relied on photometry, which measures brightness in photos using a limited number of wide-frequency filters. According to these findings, the galaxy had an 11.8 redshift. Finkelstein and the Sears team, however, desired a more precise age determination. They carried out additional observations using the near-infrared spectrograph on the James Webb to achieve this. As a result, astronomers able to examine the spectral lines that were produced in the light data due to the absorptions and emissions of particular chemical elements at particular wavelengths. From there, they could determine Maisie's galaxy's precise redshift. It seemed to be 11.4 inches. This implies that Maisie's galaxy is actually observed in the universe tens of millions of years more recently than was first thought. Even yet, it is still regarded as quite old. Just 390 million years after the Big Bang, the James Webb captured the galaxy. Given its size compared to other galaxies in the cosmos today, such as the Milky Way, Maisie's galaxy would be easy to spot. This size is a result of the universe's dense state at that time in cosmic history. Because the universe was much smaller than it is today, it was quite active when Maisie's galaxy was discovered. Thus, everything was compressed into a significantly smaller volume. Galaxies were also more closely spaced apart and merged considerably more frequently back then. There were a lot more brighter and bluer stars then than we find in galaxies today, since the universe was only 400 million years old at that time, making all the stars in the universe young. Maisie's galaxy differs from most modern galaxies in that it appears to be actively producing new blue stars at the time we are watching it. It was photographed during a time in a galaxy's life cycle known as a starburst. This means that this greatly redshifted galaxy is really much more bluer than astronomers anticipated because its newborn stars are luminous and blue. There are several small galaxies in the universe right now, but Maisie's galaxy has a considerably higher rate of star production, and it's a lot smaller. It resembles a tiny blue ball of stars. The team also learns from Maisie's galaxy's blueness that it lacks heavy elements and was composed primarily of hydrogen and helium during its initial phase. In addition, Maisie's galaxy is significantly brighter than astronomers anticipated for an early galaxy, a characteristic shared by other early galaxies seen with the James Webb. The first indication that early galaxies are a little bit brighter than we had anticipated, making them simpler to discover came from Maisie's galaxy. Our understanding of how stars emerge in the early cosmos may require some correction. It's likely that galaxies form stars more quickly than we previously believed. Perhaps they're simply producing stars at a faster pace, which makes galaxies brighter and simpler to observe. Now, the team will carry out further observations of Maze's galaxy using the Mid-Infrared Instrument on the James Webb Space Telescope probing the region's light spectrum to learn how rich it is in heavy elements and determine whether it contains any interstellar dust grains. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.